So I want to give a, a quick video on preparing the SAS Studio environment for work in this class. And uh, so to do that, I've closed everything out because I want to start fresh. And I'll click on the SAS Studio link to open SAS Studio. Now because I had closed everything uh, before I closed the SAS Studio window, there were no files open, so it gave me a blank program file, which is good because this is where I want to put some of the um, some of the things that I'd like to show you. So the first thing that that would be good to do is to set up a folder shortcut for the folder where I can put files for you because you're enrolled in my class. This is my view. The my content folder uh, is where I get to put things for for you to use. Um, in the My Content folder, because I might use SAS with other classes at some point, I've created a folder, Ed 57510. Um, and as you can see, it's currently already got the sample graph maker data file in there. Um, and so what we need to do is create a shortcut for this folder. Now, if I go to Properties, it'll give me the address for that folder, but that address works for me because that's my username MattLaver0, right? So rather than use that, uh, the courses that I teach use this as their data directory. So I'm going to copy that string, come back over to SAS Studio, and now I'm going to click this new icon and I'm going to create a new folder shortcut. Now, because I had selected the Ed 57510 folder, it filled that in here in the uh, directory. Let me go ahead and take all of that out. I'll paste the um, course directory shortcut. Then at the end, I'm going to put slash edfi7510, all caps with no space. So that should point to the edfi7510 folder that I've made inside the My Content folder. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a shortcut name. Edfi7510 is a perfectly good shortcut name. I'll click Save. Now, what you might notice is that up here under Folder Shortcuts, it's put in this Ed 57510 folder shortcut. And this will always point to the folder where I put things. You can click the little arrow and expand, and look, there's the sample graph maker data file. Now, that folder shortcut can direct you to the files, um, but there's a couple of other cool things that I can do with this. Uh, directory structure. So one of the cool things that I can actually do with this is I can point to our shared directory and set that up as a library so that the uh, data files can actually be directly accessed uh, out of that, that folder. So let me give you an example of what that looks like. So here I've got the uh, TWS data program and I've uh, modified it to create a libname reference and then of course this is where it's reading in the file and the libname ed57510 points to the folder inside my content that I've created. Now when proc import pulls in this data file it's going to put it in the Ed 57510 library as a table called TWS data. Right? So now when I run this, it of course shows the data over here, but what I want you to notice is on this side, the TWS data.sas7bdat, which is the native file format for the uh, data tables that SAS keeps in memory as it operates appears here in this folder. Now if I go to libraries, you can see that uh, Ed57510 is a library that it's working out of, and TWS data 
is in there as well. And you can see that this data table looks exactly like this data table, right? So now the data table that it has to keep in memory to do the analysis, a copy of that has been saved in our shared folder. Now this is great, except you don't want to inadvertently uh, update over top of that. So you're not going to use the, the same code that I do. What you're going to use is this. All right, so in your files at the top, you'll want to keep the command libname and edfi7510, there we go, um, and point it towards the uh, course data directory slash edfi7510. Apparently I messed that up both times. Um, it's also important that you include this option, access equals read only. That will make it so that you can't update data tables that you're reading out of that library, but you can read in data tables from that library. So I've saved this as Ed 57510 program starter in our shared directory so that you can pull that out of your, your shortcut folder and use that to begin the programs so this code is already at the top for it. So now to, to show you how helpful this can be, um, let me reset the session. So if I go to libraries, right, I currently still have the Ed 57510 library loaded in the memory of the server and you can see that the TWS data table is right there as well. But if I go to reset SAS session. It's going to warn me that it will clear everything out. That's what I want to have happen. And so now you can see that the Edfi 7510 library no longer exists, but this table is still in the Edfi 7510 shared folder. So if I use the program starter, I've got the libname statement at the top, libname Edfi 7510, points to the courses directory and the shared folder. We've got access read only, right? Now I'm just gonna put in proc means. Now, if I run this block of code, it will first create the Ed 57510 library name pointing to that directory, and then it will go find the TWS data table in that directory. And as you can see now, without uh, having to create the file in memory with separate commands, it just goes and reads it directly out of that folder. And so we can see that the across all uh, 1,367 students. The average pre-assessment pre was 44.7 and the average post was 79.1. The one important thing that you need to remember, however, is once you open the program starter, make sure that you save as instead of save. So save as and put it in, a, uh, in, a, in one of your local folders. And that's where the SAS orientation folder that I created in the other videos will, will be a good place for me to put this. So I'll call this, and now I've saved that file.